Today I want to tell you about the Minimax theorem, which is regarded by many as the theorem that started game theory. The Minimax theorem was proved by John von Neumann in 1928, and I feel the need right here to insist on the brilliance of von Neumann in general, as I personally think that he is the father of modern applied mathematics. Just check his Wikipedia page to find out more. Regarding the Minimax theorem, von Neumann would later say, as far as I can see, there could be no theory of games without that theorem. I thought there was nothing worth publishing until the Minimax theorem was proved. And the reason for that is quite simple. If you consider a game like Rock, Paper, Scissors, where paper covers rock, rock crushes scissors, and scissors cut paper, there is no winning strategy. Whatever choice you make, your opponent has a way to beat you. Now, Rock, Paper, and Scissors is a very basic game, but if you try to think of poker or threats of war, as people used to think a lot about back then in the 1930s, you see this kind of dilemma emerging. To face this difficulty, von Neumann's great idea was to broaden the space of strategies in the game by considering randomized strategies, which are often called mixed strategies in game theory. As an example of that, consider playing randomly rock, paper, or scissors with equal probabilities. Then your opponent will not be able to devise a strategy that's going to beat you. As another way of saying that, by leaving the choice of rock, paper, and scissors out of your hand, you can make sure that you will not lose in average, even when your opponent spies on you and knows exactly how you think. And in fact, von Neumann showed that playing uniformly randomly rock, paper, and scissors was the only strategy with that property. In other words, he proved that uniformly random choice here was a strategy that minimized our losses when playing against an all-knowing opponent that wants to maximize these losses. Hence the terminology minimax. And this idea has strong ties with the idea of robust programming in operations research. More generally, the minimax theorem asserts that for any game where two players replay really against one another, we call these games zero-sum game to mean that one player's loss is going to be the other player's gain. In such two-player zero-sum games, each player has a minimax strategy that minimizes his losses against an all-knowing opponent that aims at maximizing them. Moreover, one's expected losses when playing the minimax strategy equal the opponent's expected gains when he plays his minimax strategy. Thus, by playing the minimax strategy, not only are you securing the minimax loss, but it turns out as well that this is a best strategy against a minimax strategy. This double property of the minimax strategy led von Neumann to conclude that such strategies are these strategies that so-called rational players will want to be playing, especially when facing other rational players. Overall, if all players are rational, then the outcome of the game, that is, the player's expected losses, is fully determined by the game itself. This outcome is called the value of the game, and in von Neumann's mind, game theory, or at least two player zero sum game theory, boiled down to computing the values of interesting games. So, for instance, tic tac toe has a value of zero. If both players play the minimax strategy, then the game will end with a draw. Now, what is the value of a game like chess? Well, this is a very difficult question that we might never get the answer to. It should be noted that von Neumann himself, with the help of Oskar Morgenstern, would further formalize game theory in 1944, including by introducing the utility theory, also referred to as the von neumann morgenstern axioms and basic ideas of cooperative game theory. But the major renewal of game theory, at least non-cooperative game theory, would have to wait for John Nash's 27-page long PhD thesis in 1950, which will cleverly expand the realm of game theory by considering multiplayer non-zero-sum games. Although von Neumann would harshly criticize Nash's work as being trivial, but more on that in a future video.